Hello, everybody. I am not going to dance today. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. I'll spare the people. Uh, my name is Jenny Craig. Jeremy Craig. And we are here from Cop we are here at at Copper Bottom Craft Distillery in Holly Hill, Florida. Yeah. Sorry, we're a couple minutes late. Um, Sorry, we're so busy. We've been busy. We had actually people just literally walked out the door. So. And I was kind of like, okay, have a good night. <laughs> That's the great thing about him, though, is I feel like you will spend as much time with anybody as it takes we, like, to yeah. just give him a great experience. And I'm like, it's 3.59, and the doors. <laughs> People are here. I'm giving them the full experience. I know. I don't, I don't see the live up right now, so I'm worried mm -hmm. that we're not live. Well, Can I, someone... Uh, we're there, I'm sure. Think? Yeah. We're there somewhere? It said it was said it was live. So it's kind of a big day. It's been a big day for us start to finish, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. We had, uh, this morning, we are doing something with Speed Weeks Radio, which is, they said nine days, right? Yes. It's a nine day digital radio. Make sure we're still on just before you go too, before we well, get too far into this. It. No, so it's, it's nine days um, of, basically it's a pop-up radio station with Speed Week, for Speed Week, which is, leading up to the day, Daytona, Daytona 500. 500. So. And so I've had this idea in my head for a while about doing like, um, because for those of you who don't know, you must not be following us because I've been talking about it, but NASCAR and like stock car racing started from prohibition. So it was like the, the, the bootleggers that were like driving the whiskey cars event. <laughs> I don't know why I have to be that way. Yeah, why? I don't know. Uh, I just the am. whiskey cars. Come on. Yeah, they were called whiskey cars. Okay. They were. Do some research. Anyway, so these guys, once prohibition ended, which was the Twenty First Amendment. Ah, uh, look at that! You knew that one this time. I read it. Uh, <laughs> um, they didn't know what to do with their super souped-up fast cars, so they started racing them. All willy nilly. All willy nilly, and then and then old Bill France stepped in and was like, you know, we should probably make some regulations for this, and then thus NASCAR was formed. I think what he said was, we should probably make some money on this. Or that. That's not what the news <laughs> the newspapers reported, though. Yeah. So anyway, we have been doing uh, like thirty second clips of just cool informational tidbits about bootlegging and NASCAR, everything leading up to the Daytona Five Hundred, and so those will be playing hourly on Speed Weeks Radio. And we've been posting, or you have, you've been posting some little snippets on Fridays, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I talked to someone yesterday actually who uh, I was telling him that we were doing this and he's like, oh yeah, I had no idea that NASCAR came from, and I didn't even get too far into the conversation and I was like, oh, so, so did you see that from us? And he said, yeah, and he said he even told other people. So, Not only delicious, I'm but educating educational the world. Well. <laughs> Everyone run for the hills. I'm in charge of your education. Oh boy. Okay. Anyway, so surprisingly right now there's no one in here. We do have an event tonight. It's Embry-Riddle night at the distillery. Yeah, so, so if you're at Embry-Riddle, come on over. If you're in Embry-Riddle? I said if you're at Embry-Riddle. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Embry-Riddle's local aeronautical uh, engineering university. So anyway, Where you work. Where I work, full time. I don't know that I've ever actually came out and said that. Are you ashamed of that? Well, I don't know if they're ashamed of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like me protecting them. Oh, well. Yeah, I work I work in athletics. My boss is amazing. We'll, ed we'll edit that 4 out. We're 14 and he's not even texting me like, where are you? We'll, so. we'll edit that out in final production. This Tonight, boss, this should count as like work, right? It's Embry-Riddle night. Sure. My two worlds are colliding. All right. I think there's another reason why everyone is here today, babe. There's people here? No, I mean, tuning in. Well, I know, but is there people watching? I never know. Is anybody watching this? Is anybody even here? Anybody care? Yeah, Liz Wu says hi. Hi, Wu. Oh, hi, yeah, Liz. there's people actually watching. Um, Cherry Hoover, Jennifer Don Rains, Beth King. Hi, Beth. We got, hi. we got people. People. All right. Okay, and I know most of those names submitted, um, submitted a submission. Submission? Yeah. Oh. We did. Oh, it. that's right. That's today. Shut up. <laughs> we have picked a winner. And let me tell you, not, I, not that we. was not easy. I had no, I had no part in it. I'm going to tell you that right now. No, that is a lie. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is a lie. So it is uh, his, Jeremy's entire family. And I, even I threw a couple to my mom. Like, hey, what do you think of these? 
So a couple weeks ago, if you don't know what you're watching right now, we threw out that we were going to um, gift, gift? Give away. Give away a platinum rental here at the distillery, which, platinum, baby. need I remind you, is a four hour party, <laughs> cocktails included. 50 of your closest friends. 60 of your 60. closest friends. Hi. Someone. <laughs> right through there. This is what happens when you're open <laughs> while you're on Facebook Live. And so anyway, we do have a winner. There were there were quite a lot of submissions that we went through. There was a lot, yeah. How many? What, do you know how many total? There was a lot. I know it was over 30. There were, over 30? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I, listen, way more, I stopped yeah. counting at 30. Yeah, way more than that. Way more than that. And then, hello, all you people that waited till the last day. Like, I read every single one, and his, his mother did too. So you got in there, um, you got in there, but, but it's skinny. There, was, yeah, there was a lot of blood that came in that last day. That's what happens, procrastination. So you know that I couldn't do this easy and he has no idea who the winner is. No, I, I put my votes in, but I don't know who the final right. winner was. Mm -hmm. So, who wins? And, and the winner, I tell you what, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm about to um, there's someone who walked in and just asked to use our restroom auto. You... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. Then I, we just had a friend walk in, and now this Facebook Live is going awry. It, we're, we're falling off the rails here. Um, so who won? Here in this envelope. Oh my God! There's not an envelope <laughs> there. It's a piece of paper. I know, but I wanted to do it like a real. All right, do it. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready when this guy stops singing in the bathroom. There's a guy that just came in to use our restroom. This does not happen often. Don't you dare not come here because random people come in sometimes, sometimes to use the restroom. He's, uh, yeah, he's knows? singing. Yeah, he's doing something. Anyway. This is Jeremy not getting happy. Yeah. Babe, get happy because people um, are watching right now and they cannot wait to see who won this platinum level giveaway. What's taking so long? Open it! Oh, I don't... Dun, 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 dun. The winner is, go ahead, you, you're the no. Vanna White here, go ahead. I gave it to you. You gave it to me. The winner is... The bathroom guy just left. We're good. Yeah, so it's no more singing in the bathroom. <laughs> That's a good thing. All right, so the winner is Boss Garage Door and Screen Solutions. Yay! That, that's, a, that's a company. That is a company. It's a company. And let me tell you, when we were going through all the submissions, we had no um, like pre determined look that we were going for. We Jimmy had Scott Harper. We Hooper, had sorry. Hooper. Yeah. Andrea. Yeah. 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 Um, we had uh, everything from weddings, receptions, um, birthday, lots of birthday parties, uh, baby showers, bridal showers, all kinds of stuff, all yeah. kinds of things. Um, a couple anniversary, maybe a couple vow renewals. Like there was everything to choose from, but Boss I expected. loved, I loved boss. And we, I should say we, yeah. we loved Boss Garage Door's um, submission. Can I read this? I don't know. Is there anything in there that we're not supposed to say? <laughs> I don't know. Why would they send it to me if I wasn't supposed to say it? I just thought it was so cool and it was parallel with how we started our business, I felt like. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to cruise right there. They're through. a relatively new business and basically it's an anniversary party for their business. Yeah. Five year anniversary and uh, they're owners, they're brothers that are owners. And they've lived and worked in the Volusia County area for their for their entire lives. As young men, they worked together briefly in the screen slash aluminum industry. Um, ultimately, Scott moved on to learn a new trade in garage door industry while Jim honed his craft in aluminum. So they always knew they wanted to work together again one day. We started out working together. That's how we met. Yeah. And now I guess we kind of work together again. Yeah. Um, so in 2014, the opportunity arose for them to start their own business and they all jumped in and couldn't be happier. So what started off being run out of the family dining room and garage has now turned into a thri thriving business run out of the beautiful warehouse space in the heart of the industrial business in Holly Hill. So we were not looking for a Holly Hill, like it was, there was no, no prerequisites at all. I just loved what they wrote and they said they would be, um, very proud to have their five year anniversary party here. They would invite 60 of their closest friends and families and customers. Uh, they would do catering. They maybe have some live music and they wanted to do some giveaways and raffle prizes. So yeah, it was just, it was a, it was a great submission and I yeah. loved it. And when we met these guys, I remember they were actually working out of their garage, like out of, oh, their, really? yeah, out of their living room. We, yeah, when I first I've met I've been to their location, but I don't know them 
Yeah. I don't know them. Yeah, I met, I met him a while back through some of the other things that we've done. So yeah, I didn't, yeah, that was one of my votes, but I didn't know he actually won. So congratulations. <laughs> We're happy to have you guys. Yeah. And we'll get with you and figure out we'll what make it we all can work. do to make this amazing. Yeah. And maybe we'll put in a garage door. Uh, that's what I would love. <laughs> There's one back there. No, like a cool one, you know, like industrial that you can see out and like walk out. That's like phase D. We want to have yeah. some outdoor. That's a long way down the road. I know, one day. But anyway, garage doors are cool. Anyway, I just thought like By the time we get ready to do it, they won't be cool anymore. You don't think? Yeah. Don't tell them that. They just won. No, I'm not <laughs> saying hey, everybody needs a garage door, but you don't necessarily need one in your living room. I know, but they're so cool. No, you guys I, know what I'm talking trust about. Trust me, I want one. So anyway, we're happy to have you guys. And I think it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Congratulations again. I, I love yeah, the family aspect of the business, how you got started. Ours was a beverage napkin on a high speed train in Italy and yours was at your dining room, room table, table. Yep. I get it. Dave Maholius from uh, Gate, formerly Gateway Bank, now Center State Bank, that's how the bank started, was at his dining room table. Really? Mm -hmm. See, I didn't know that. Now stick with me, baby, we're going places. Going places. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to tell these great people? Um, no, I don't think so. I've got nothing. I'm tired. I know. We, we were sleeping through the night, but I wake up just as tired. Yeah. As I went to sleep. What, what is that? Is, is that, that a weather? Is that a thing? Are you people warm anyway? This is this is awful. We're in central Florida and it's like, what, 47 degrees outside is what I saw last? I think it's warmer than that now. Really? It's probably like 60 now. No way. Why am I looking at my watch? Like my watch is going to tell me what time it is. Other okay. than what time it is, yeah. I don't uh, know. Do they make watches that tell you the temperature? They actually do. I was actually like looking at one. Like a bit watch or something? Well, I mean, yes, there's those, but there's actually mechanical watches that have mechanical... I like watches, so I know dumb things about watches. Like so, yeah. anything, test him. Don't test me. Test I'm not that him. smart. Yes, you are. I know more about booze than I do watches. And I don't even know that much. <laughs> All right, on that note, I think we should call it a day. Hey, Auto, you want to shut this thing off? Just. <laughs> With right, you know, right, you know, we, we haven't had anybody run the camera before. So. I know. Wait, okay. Wait, wait, uh, uh. I don't know. Um, we'll see you next Thursday. Are we? I Are we, do, we have to do this again? Jeremy Craig, I'm sorry. This is what I have to work with, you people. Congratulations, Boss Garage Door. Thank we you, guys. We can't wait to have you.